Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lee. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and like. Today we're going to be talking about testing your parameters on your reef tank. Um, everything seems to be doing well on my tank since I've really been dialing in my manual testing. Um, but this is starting to get a little bit tedious and taking up a little bit more too much of my time. Since I'm a real uh, geek on the tech side of things, um, I'm thinking about an auto tester. So today I'm coming to you as a reef uh, hobbyist, uh, one of you guys that may be looking to get an auto tester for your tank, um, kind of what's important to you and if this is something you're keen to do. So currently I'm testing pretty much most days or at least four times a week alkalinity. I'm checking this for major swings as I've recently added a CO2 scrubber. So this is obviously to increase uh, pH, which straight away I noticed that my pH had gone up. Um, it'd been consuming a lot more of the P, uh, of the alkalinity uh, for growth. Um, this is something I read on and I didn't know about this beforehand. Now what I didn't know is I upped my alkalinity and I was testing. So I was up, up my alkalinity through my doser to combat this. So originally I was dosing 40 millimeters a day. Uh, it, it, it was draining down the alkalinity at rapid pace. So I upped it to 80, mill 80 millimeters of alkalinity. Um, I didn't change my calcium. As they were being consumed over time, the, uh, the calcium dropped from 440 down to 350. So this was a major concern and if I had an auto tester um, or I was testing manually, I would have seen this. I didn't, so there's lesson number one. Um, always check your parameters regardless of what you think is happening. Um, now it's stable, alkalinity is at, it's between 8.3 and 8.9 I believe. Um, and that's dosing 50 millimeters a day throughout the day. Um, calcium is back up to around 4 to 4.10 so it's taken me some time to get there I've done a couple of water changes and I've increased my dosage and I've dosed a few times manually but I've given it enough days in between where I'm still testing to see if those parameters change um, again something to be mindful of magnesium I've checked just in case and that was fine so my long term goal for this reef tank is to get above five years and five years will be coming up in December which I'm going to be really happy about um, but I'm just getting bored of testing now doing a few manual tests here and there is fine but I have a lot of test kits and I seem to be running out of space to store them um, the liquids are messy I'm getting it on my hands um, it, I'm sitting down in the evening trying to relax watch a movie and I'm having to test manually a lot so I'm thinking of getting an auto tester and just for the UK market, um, this is just my own personal opinion, um, I'm, I've been looking at a few companies out there. Now, number one company I've been looking at and reached out to as well is Refactory. So Refactory are in Poland, I believe. They have a lot of monitoring equipment that's um, standalone equipment so you can just plug it in it uses an app system and then you can check those parameters so currently running on the system as a monitor i've got a ph probe that monitors the ph and will give me an out uh, look on the app um, then there is um, the thermal control and thermal view that i'm using these will monitor the temperature now both do the same just the control will control the temperature and it, you can also plug a a heater and a cooling system like a fan into that area whereas the thermal view is just a, literally a LCD screen that will show you what the temperature is it will give you alerts via text or email um, but it's a lifesaver and it has helped me a bunch of times so if not anything um, keep an eye on your uh, temperature on your tank um, you can get a thermal view and they're relatively cheap compared to the control or any other products that are out there. So the other thing I wanted to touch ground on was 
testing your reef tank um, manually. So currently I'm testing for calcium and alkalinity. I check my salinity when I make up the batch. Um, I double check it as well because I'm using a uh, digital pen um, and I'm also using a refractometer. So I'll go through those. So test kits I'm currently using, if I just bring you in a bit closer and I'll bring them to hand. So I'm using Salafert um, because they're very cheap and they're reliable test kits. Um, they, they're easy to use, the instructions are clear. You can read all of the information on this. There's a lot of videos out there and Salafert have been around for many years so this is why I use them. So calcium, I've got alkalinity, magnesium, nitrates, phosphates and silicates because I had an issue with silicates so we're running for them. Now as more of a kind of pro test kit let's say for argument's sake um, I was keen um, with using aquaforest so I'm currently using calcium, magnesium and nitrate for the aquaforest. Now they're very good the test kits are um, really well priced. Um, I believe you get 55 to 65 tests out of these kits on average. The issue with them more than anything else is that the instructions are like a white sheet with purple dye writing. It's very small and it's quite hard to read what's on there. Um, but apart from that, the tests are very good. Um, they come in it's very similar, so just a cardboard box. There's all the details on there. And this is what I'm using for that. Now, in the background here, I am currently using uh, the Hannah Checkers. So we've got the KH for alkalinity, the calcium, no, sorry, the phos uh, nitrate. So nitrate, uh, I think it's high range. And then we've got phosphates, which is this one here. So we're using the phosphate. Check up. Um, now these work really well and again they're pretty well priced. Now alkalinity is great because it's not too expensive um, and I think phosphates as well are really good. I believe um, if the top of my head you get the reagents uh, in a packet of maybe around 50, 25 to 50 somewhere along, the, along those lines of around 8 to 10 pounds whereas the nitrates are a little bit more expensive I think they're around 20 pounds um, so it's a little bit more steeper so it's something you have to bear in mind for me it was about numbers so I had some issues with the tank let me just bring you back so I had some issues with the tank where the numbers were reading um, low uh, on nitrates and phosphate so um, we were reading around two, part, two parts per two ppm of nitrates and uh, phosphates we were reading zero so currently today, good to say, but it's a little bit higher than I'd like. Phosphates we're reading at 0.06 and nitrates we're reading at uh, 5. Uh, and that is with uh, really a little bit of dosing of uh, phosphates on my behalf. Um, so I've added a little bit too much recently and I'll dial that back now. Um, on auto testers, as we were discussing, um, I'm looking to get an auto tester. Now, this is my own personal opinion on it. In the UK, as I said, uh, there's a refactory that are in Poland. So technical support and LFS stores, will, some work with them like Coral Compass, um, that they have the products and they know how to use them. So I'm happy to use that product. They have a KH Keeper Plus that I'm looking into for the alkalinity where it will check those parameters. Now I believe that the product price is around $799 for the Pro, uh, for the, pro, um, for the Alkalinity Pro. Um, and this basically will, the KH Keeper, it will have a lab grade Pro um, and uh, a DC stepper motor. So it's a little bit more refined and a bit more quieter apparently than the original one that came out. I believe that's like $599. Uh, so I may be looking at that but realistically, um, I think Refactory were bringing out a smart tester that will test one component at a time. But this will be for either phosphates, I believe, alkalinity, 
and might be calcium. Don't quote me on that. There might be uh, nitrates as well. Um, and it's something I'm keen to look at, but it depends on the product price overall of that for the system. So in that said, there is a few systems out there that you would have heard of. I'm just gonna read them out a little bit. You've got the KH Guardian, which is the KH Alkaline Tea Keeper. Um, don't know the full price of that. And it's something that I believe that software is um, more technical. So if you're really into that kind of side um, and you're happy to go with that, then that might be for you. Um, they look really well made. Um, and um, I think there's custom support and things like this is, is amazing. And I think their warranty on their units is probably pretty good. You've got the Mastertronic. Now here, they're 999 on their own. Um, they're, I, think, I believe they're a standalone system where they'll test um, for phosphates, nitrates, uh, and alkalinity. Um, and that is a definite uh, contender for me to look at. Um, I'm just not sure on what they have to offer outside the box of that. So at the moment, I know that they've been around for a long time and a lot of reef hobbyists use those, um, especially in the States. We have a D&D uh, KH Keeper coming in at $799.99. So that might be a great contender, but again, it's only d testing my alkalinity. Now alkalinity on the, on the um, pen up there, the uh, Hannah Checker works very well. And it's like, I think 65 pounds so 65 pounds i get it it's auto tested but yeah i'll stick with the uh i'll stick with the tester the the hand checker we got neptune systems um apex um i believe they do a bundle of 13799 now that will test um i believe their reagents for calcium alkalinity and magnesium which is great but you have to have the whole system in place to use that and that's something I don't want to do. I don't want to be stuck into a system um, where I'm only I'm gonna have to use those reagents and, and no other test kits that I can use. So that's not going to work for me. Um, going down the list, I'm just reading from my notes here. By the way, we've got the obviously they talked about the Hannah Checker. We've got the Spin Touch, which uh, is quite expensive. I think it's about two thousand four hundred and one pounds uh, in the UK. Um, uh, apparently it's supposed to be very good. A lot of LFS stores use them now, um, but it means uh, it's not an auto tester. You have to fill up the vials a bit like with a hammer and go from there. And last but not least, I wanted to talk about uh, Reef um, Kinetics. So Reef Kinetics, um, they've been around for a while. They had um, their V1 version, which was the lab bot, and now they've got the V2. Um, I've reached out to them because some of my LFS stores don't hold these units in stock, they're out of stock, and I've been trying to get one, so trying to work with them to see if I can get a unit, but to test it and then give my honest opinion on how it performs. Um, I know that there's been a few videos out there where people say, oh, it's noisy, or you know, it, it may be difficult to set up, things like this. It's a standalone system. I think the price is coming in at, um, just get my pricing right, yeah, 999, uh, so just a thousand pounds in the UK. Um, and it, it tests a, a pretty lot of uh, parameters on this, on my checklist. So we've got alkalinity, I believe, calcium, magnesium, nitrate, phosphate, nitrate, ammonia, copper, and iodine. Uh, I believe they'll use certain test kits that they should mention, so salifert, API, Red Sea, um, and I believe there's a couple more on there that you can use, but for me that's great. Um, it just means that I can test these parameters on a set schedule. Now, if the unit is a little bit noisier, I will just set that to when I'm either in in during the day, where I'm you know not busy on the on a phone call or something like that, and just set it to test, or when I'm at lunchtime. Um, I can't imagine it's going to take an hour to do a test. So we'll see about that. Um, currently, um, the Reef Lab bot, we're just going to bring you onto this section here. So this is the device. Obviously, I don't have it in person, but that may change with your 
uh, help with giving me a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, and there will be a code in the description um, to give um, you $100 off, I believe. Uh, so uh, check that code out because that may come in handy for anyone that wants to pick one of these up and get a discount from them. So from the US, it's 1299 as you can see, or, see there. It's a black unit with, I think, acrylic panels that come off. It has um, some uh, vials in there. Um, they've recently, I believe, or you can get them, a 60 mils uh, reagent bottles, so you don't have to fill them so often. And it's, um, yeah, it looks like a real handy piece of kit. As I said, it measures the most common parameters, which I just said, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, ammonia, nitrate, copper, iodine, um, we got pH in here as well, which is great. That will, I can then double test my um, test kit for because I'm using the refactory pH probe. So uh, even though it's like kind of lab graded and everything else, but at least this will be a test where I'm not looking for. So guys, um, we're just gonna wrap this up now with this video today, all about testing, auto testing. Uh, for Salinity, I'm currently using a, um, digital um, uh, handheld salinity pen. Um, now this is pretty good, but it's by this company here, I'll put the description in below, uh, Exodus, but um, it's very good, but I would always back that up if you're unsure, or if you haven't calibrated it for some time maybe, is with a refactometer. Um, these are very inexpensive and they work very well. This one is very cool from Cracking Corals, not sponsored but I like the company. They work really well. You have a little button here, you press and it shows the backlight so you don't need to look through to the sun. Um, and yeah, it's perfect for testing your salinity. Um, guys, if you wanna help with this video, please give me some comments, feedback. Anyone using the Kinetic uh, Reef Kinetics uh, Lab V2, Please let me know what you think about it, if it's uh, any good, um, because I, I am really considering purchasing one, even if they don't send me one to use. Um, I wanna get my my reef tank on an auto testing. Everything else on the system is all being done by the roller mat, the skimmer, um, all the pH probes, um, the controllers for the temperature. So why not test this as well? It's just another thing to buy at the end of the day. Uh, to monitor and deal with the tank uh, as we're getting busier these days. But if you like the video, as I said, you'll be doing me a massive favor. Um, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and I'll be putting more videos out shortly. Also in the description, if you're in the US, I believe that this code will give you $100 off. That's what they've promised. Um, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care, bye.